Hello and welcome to Die Rolling with me, Will. And uh, today we are going to be looking at day 10 of the advent calendar, uh, of the exit advent calendar, might I say. And we are going to be escaping this mountain once and for all, hopefully uh, in the next uh, 15 or so episodes, um, who's counting. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off as we usually do and read for a prologue, but we managed to escape an incredibly dark room and activate the fuse box. I'm sure something weird and wonderful is going to show up the moment I uh, connect it all up, but I'm hoping we'll find that out in the prologue, which I am about to begin right now. Quickly, you connect the correct wires together. When you pop the fuse box, uh, fuse box back in, both the corridor and the room behind it begin to shine dully. Shine? You step forward curiously. You seem to have stepped on something because it uh, feels weird under your foot. Then you lift your shoe and hear a rattle and a click, and the ground is torn from your under your feet. What the? You fall through, and the air, the air is forced out of your lungs on impact. You lie dazed on the floor. You watch the door close above you. You've triggered a secret trap, like an Indiana Jones movie. At least you have not found any uh, snakes waiting for you. You get up and rub your saw back. A candle, a single candle, illuminates a bare rock, uh, the bare rock walls. And in front of the narrow window stands a telescope. It's a shame that the bars on the window are too tight to squeeze through. Nevertheless, you step closer and, bre uh, and breathe in the fresh air. You find the bad weather has passed as you look into a spectacularly starry sky. You can see more stars than you've ever seen uh, above your town, even in the darkest of nights. In front of you, you can see Orion and Ursa Major, uh, and the swan, uh, and that the swan and the fox over there. But the constellation do, uh, constellations do not help you further. You grab a chair and the telescope to see what's at the, under the trap door. The hatch is low enough for you to be able to reach it without difficulty, of course. The trap door is locked, and in order to open it, you have to crack the code. Thankfully, you climb back down from the chair. From the chair, there must be another clue in here. Surely, you take another look carefully and look around. They who seek find. Open the door. So let's open up the door and see what is inside, which is a very another dark room with code J. So let's start by having a look inside the room and seeing what we can find, and we can see. A constellation map, a chair, telescope, a um, candle, um, and a starlit sky. Now, the interesting bit about this is, that, again, another thing I noticed before we put it down and reading it out. I've got little stars on here. I have a feeling if I join the dots, I might make some interesting numbers. But let's have a look and see what we get. So... We have some constellations. Now, what that could be is I could be creating like little blocks and getting words that will then spell out something. So I'm going to take this away and draw in all these constellations onto this, uh, onto this sheet of paper. And let's see what we get. So I draw on the constellations and each one crosses over a single word. So you've got uh, the secret found and fox and i'm going to line them up. i'm going to predict lining them up with this will give me a hint of what i need to go and do so it says fox found the secret so the fox has found the secret so where is there a fox in this room so maybe there's somewhere on the map that there's a fox that we totally missed and like ignored that might tell us where we need to go. So let's close some of these doors and see what we can find. I don't see a fox on the board anywhere. Is there any on a room in a room or in on the top even? Um, there's a cross. There's like a bunch of flags. Uh, there's shooting stars. It doesn't really show a fox in the sky. Um, is there a fox in any of the rooms? 
There was the swan back there, but there wasn't a, I don't think there was a fox in any of the rooms, unless there's like a secret fox somewhere that we've totally missed. Um, um, no, doesn't look like it. So, looks like we are good with what we've done so far. There's just something about this room then. So we've got to look for the fox, and the fox will find us the secret. It's a very dark room. I'm sorry that I can't do much more to try and illuminate it for you guys. The fox. Fox found the secret. So where on earth would the fox be? Hmm. Very intriguing. Like, I know now, like, I've done, like, the most of the puzzle in the fact that I now have, like, I've crossed out the constellations. I've looked at the little, uh, uh, looked at the newspaper and found that, found that. But then in here, there's not really anything with a fox that sort of, like, just stands out and shows us what we need to do. There's nothing on the door. The only stuff on the door is this one which I haven't needed to use yet, but I believe that I will probably need it at some point. Um, there's nothing on the side of any of these doors. No, not yet. Maybe I need to have a little look at some clues. Maybe I actually need to have a look at a clue, because otherwise we'll be here a while. And that'll be me, just uh, having a look and a struggle of what's going on. So let's read clue number one. Uh, interestingly, everything seems to resolve around the stars in here. On riddle card J, you will find four peculiar consta uh, 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 festive constellations to make, th make it easier for you. Uh, easier to see. Someone has also connected the stars with lines. How nice. Also, did you notice the stars on, the ca on today's calendar? On today's calendar sheet, 10th of, De of December. They seem to be of, uh, the same constellations that are on riddle card J. Only connecting lines, uh, only the connecting lines are missing. Have a go at drawing them in. So I did, and we got that, uh, the fox, and we got the fox found the secret. Um, hmm. It's quite interesting of, like, seeing what, um, Uh, of what's going on. Um, like, I don't know where I'm meant to start. So, oh, hang on. Well, there's a little rabbit. Um, huh. Ooh. Look at that. There's a fox. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? Whoa! I'm having to unbox the game to find... Found, like, a list of numbers and then a fox. What is this? So, it looks to me... Okay, so, five, seven, three? I'm going to put it back together before it all unfolds itself. Jesus. That's really clever. Oops, knocking everything. If the owl found it, you know. That's crazy. What? Five, seven, three. Wow. Had to unbox the flipping game to find a flipping secret. So, five, seven, three. Circle L star. Which is the first L. And it's the one in the bottom corner. Ooh. So it's number 11. So we have found door number 11. Took us a clue, but we got there. And we um, and it took a little bit of hunting and thinking outside the box and having a look. But I found it by noticing the little bunny on the front. So um, that was quite interesting. Um, I'm glad we were able to solve it. I'm glad we were able to figure it out. I'm glad we were able to get the majority of it and using the little stars to tell us that it found a secret. I was happy that I did that bit. Without needing any hints. So, uh, 
you've been watching day 10 with me will on the on the advent calendar for die rolling hope you uh check uh, all our other videos make sure you like comment and subscribe on this one uh we like reading the comments i like seeing how i've done where i could gone wrong where i could do better um and i also would like to um uh, see you on our Facebooks and Instagrams. Make sure to like those. You get feedback on what's coming in our channel. Uh, make sure to ring that bell to always get notifications on our YouTube channel. And then finally, make sure you all stay safe and keep on rolling.